the really important thing about bringing these different nations together is to look at the challenges that we need to overcome in order to realize our inherent right to self-government. What I would take away is, is an acknowledgement that we're all trying and striving for the same thing. And I, I felt that there's been the most collaboration and sharing. You get that inspiration from the other communities. You, you get the sense that you're not alone and there's other people that are figuring it out. You could feel the interest as people began to realize that their experience was transferable and interesting to others. The energy in the room this past two days has been remarkable. The only people who are going to realize this dream are the people who hold the right. So I think it's really important to become aware of the fact that First Nations across the country have value systems that are deep-seated in their culture. It's also very disturbing to see how these people have been and are today oppressed by the Canadian legal systems. What do our people need to know about transitional government? You know, people need to know where, where we're coming out of. This Indian Act governance that we were trying to make work for ourselves, this never worked. And that's what this transitional governance is all about, is, is trying to get out of that. You need to, to ensure that your people know what that means. We are of a, of a strong people and a capable people. This has been the dream of our people for now going on eight generations. Where do we go from here it is so important. You know, so I think if people know where, where we're coming out of, you know, maybe there's a little bit more optimism about where we can go. We're all in this together. We're all at different stages, but we all want the same goal, to be self-sustaining and self-determined and to govern ourselves. We all can learn more about how to make the transformation that all of us are interested in doing, decolonizing our country. But this is the beginning of something big. What we should effectively end up with is a transitional governance model that all First Nations can use across the country. The way I see this, it's about complete and confederation. We came into confederation as wards of the crown and we complete confederation in this new nation-to-nation-to-nation -to -nation -to -nation relationship as, first of all, full citizens of our own nation and of Canada. And when I think about that, I look at it in the context of complete and confederation, which will create the Canada that should have always been. That's why this is important.